So how many Cornish official climbs can I do in one day? There's nine on the menu. We're at the first one, Blue Hills. It's got a 33% bit in it. And I've still got a dodgy hip. But we're gonna see what I can get done in a day. So welcome back to another video. I'm here in Cornwall. I'm in St Agnes at the top of Blue Hills. I'm gonna cycle down it. I don't know what it looks like yet. We're gonna come back up it. I know there's a 33% bit of climb. Then we're going to St Ives and St Moors and then we'll see where we get on after that. It is a bit chilly and the wind is blowing a bit. All right, so I'm guessing that's the 33% bit and it goes all the way up there. So this is gonna be fun, especially that hairpin. <laughs> Blue Hills. Oh, a lovely climb, but two minutes of effort. Oh, 33%. Oh, glad to be at the top. Uh, no St Ives. It's just taken me quite a while to find this one. All through the mazes of the St Ives streets, the narrow streets, I think. I'm 47 metres away. We're heading away from the beach, up the climb. Yeah, I can see the start of it. So this is Porthmuir Hill. Well, of all the official climbs I've ever done, that is probably the most disappointing and it's probably the furthest out of the way. I've come all the way down to St Ives in Cornwall to do what is a residential road. There aren't any views at the top. It's busy, there were a load of cars. It was nothing special at all. I'd barely give it a one out of 10. <laughs> Whereas the one before, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10, but it was probably a nine out of 10 because I don't wanna set the bar too high with the nine I've got to do today. But yeah. There's a nice view back of the sea now on the road parallel. I just come up that road over there. But other than it started on the beachfront, <laughs> very underwhelmed. When I've got that view going back down, it's not all bad. But we're going over to St Moors now on the other side of the coast. So quite a trek and it's down in a little headland bit. So it's gonna take a while to get there. It better be better than this. <laughs> All right, so I've made my way over to St Moors. I'm going up Grove Road. I'm 91 metres away, so I've just got to try and find it. It does go up the hill. I haven't looked to see how steep this one is. I haven't looked at its profile or anything, but I'm sure, knowing Cornwall, it's going to be steep. No, it's not that one. <laughs> it's, not, it's not on my map. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Whoops, missed it. So I go straight past the entrance. It actually says Commercial Road on the edge, not Grove Road. So we'll try again. And that was more like it. That was tough. That was a proper Cornish little climb through Cornish streets. I like that one. 
Didn't like it was, it was going up that steep bit though. <sighs> Let's go back down and have a look at St Moore's. <laughs> I think we've got about an hour to the next one. We're back up to Bobmin for the next one. I think Kit Hill or East Bobmin Moor or one of those two. But the next four or five are all quite close together. So we'll hit them off in quick succession. It's worth the hour coming here. It's probably about an hour back to where we're going now. <laughs> Things I do for these clients. I can't believe someone like me is here with somebody like you. There's something about you and I know why. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Right, we made it over to Bobby Moore. This is the fourth time of the day. This one looks a treat. This one is Carradon Hill, I think it was. Yeah, but look at this. We're going all the way up there. Scaring the sheep. Now this, this is what official climb should look like. This is amazing. I think it's 6% average, 11% max, and 1.3K long. Yes, 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 yes. That was a beautiful climb and that little lamb thinks so as well. Yes, look at the views from up here. You can see the sea over there. <sighs> Minions is the village. Carradon Hill is the climb. Yes, <laughs> let's go find these other three or four, five maybe. Right, so I'm finally 25 meters away from Bob Mini Small, which is the next one. This one was very hard to find. It's down a dead end road. Oh, should be glad to get this one done. One and a half K. Bob Mini Small. So far, it's not too bad. I think it gets up to 14%. Hopefully not for too long. The worrying thing is it just said I was at 12%. Let's drop it down to five now. But the profile shoots up in a minute. And I've already been up to 16 and it looked flat on the profile. So God knows what's coming. There's only supposed to be max of 14. Uh, it's just a country lane at the minute though. Nothing special. Just spoiled with that last one. I'm hoping there's some views as we get close to the top. GPS without them but it was flat on the profile when it was steep and when it was steep it was flat and then it finishes going downhill before the segment actually finished so I don't know if that's right hey sheep another one down what's that now is that five <laughs> can I manage the other four I don't know they're not far away but we had trouble finding this one this one took way longer to find and I hoped it would. 
It's nice up here, nice summit. <laughs> it's now currently 6 p.m. No, it's 6.25 p.m. So we're running out of time. So we're gonna just do this one. This is old Greystone Hill. I'm gonna go over and do Kit Hill and I'm gonna call it a day at seven. Save Julo and pop her over another day, but I've got to go down to come back up. It looked really nice. That was one of those rare beasts. It was a big ring climb all the way up. Yeah, not, not too steep at all. Tailwind. Got into that one. So yeah, that's six done. One to go. Kit Hill's next. Yeah, that was all right. Beautiful in the trees there. Just a bit busy with cars, even at half past six at night. <laughs> but yeah, nice climb. So here we are, the last one of the day. We're at the bottom of Kit Hill. It's three and a half K long. It's starting to get dark, so I've got to get this one done and dusted pretty quickly. But yeah, just run out of time. Seven out of the nine, if anybody was uh, placing bets, that's how many I got through. A lot of driving today just to get this done, but I'm going to be pleased at the end of the day knowing I've ticked off seven and eight this week with Bishop's Wood that I fell over on. <laughs> the hip is holding up really well. Um, it's actually better today, having been cycling on it, than it has been. Uh, the past couple of days where it's been quite tender. So let's get this done. One more to go. How can I love you now when I don't know who you are? Is this what we are? Is this what we are? I let you move out of my heart. I like that early climb. It's 15 to 20 percent. It's eased off now to 10, and it feels easy. Easy 10 percent. Two and a half k to go, so oh, this is a long one. I think it goes all up there. Oh, and I can't believe it's still going up. Still at 10 percent. We've had a few 15s. We've got up quite high. I've got to go right again in a minute. Oh, still 1.1k to go. But look at that. That's how high we are. Still going up. Oh, still 660 meters to go. Already feels so high. Uh, says my end time is 2037. That's a long climb. That's a long climb. <laughs> what an epic place to finish the day. My seventh climb, the longest and most rewarding. I love a summit. The views up here are incredible. You've got to come up Kit Hill. I would probably say, oh, this one, Carradon Hill and Blue Hills are the three best today. This is probably the best. Uh, no prejudice for guessing which was the worst. <laughs> so there we go, seven more. Official climb is ticked off. What epic day. A lot of driving. I thank Debbie for sitting in the car, 
keeping me company and humoring me whilst I do all this. We'll make it up tomorrow to Tedgel Castle tomorrow. I know you want to go there. But oh yes, I'm going to enjoy this descent down now. Put the bike in the car, go and get something to eat and glorious gravel on Saturday for the glorious Gravel Wessex. 100 kilometers on gravel with the experts and Justin and Mark. Paul Knight, I think, is going to be there. So, should be a lot of fun. So, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video. Blah, blah, like, subscribe, comment. Up to you. I'm just so happy at the moment. I don't care. <laughs> we will see you soon. Kings of the world